Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Helena. Today we'll be looking at the Huion Canvas Pro 24. Um, we'll just unbox it right now. And so I paid a lot of money for this. This is usually $900, but I pre-ordered it when it was still in China. So I had to pay the pre, the like pre, the customs tax. I think that's what it's called. That was like an extra 200 something bucks. And then shipping, so I paid like 1200 bucks for this thing, and I know that's a lot, um, but I was just so excited to get this thing, like I was just so ready, and when I opened it up, I was surprised at just how big this thing really is. It was super heavy, and it just, I don't know, I, I equate heavy with quality. And so, yes, there's the disc and everything in the box. Don't mind my cat, she, she likes to come in and mess things up and so that is the stand that I am unwrapping right now the stand is super cool it's super I don't know like flexible like it, it has a lot of different angles that you can use with it I'm so happy it came with the stand the stand is just so awesome so in the box you get the canvas pro 24 of course you get the stylus you get 10 extra nibs a nib maneuver tool a pen holder a tablet stand USB cable, HDMI cable, and power adapter with the AC cable, a cleaning cloth, the drawing glove, and then you get your quick start guide that tells you how to go. I really love the design of this tablet. It is super, super sleek. And I love the chemically etched glass. I prefer that over the um, screen protector that is matte. And I'm gonna turn it over and go ahead and screw the stand on. It came with all the screws and everything. So you just had to plop that on there and just screw it in and everything worked perfectly had little instructions on the back. I tried to take the sticker off, but it left residue, so I said just stuck it back on. So basically, I'm just gonna talk about kind of my experience with it so far. It's super hard to get used to when compared to my iPad Pro, which I have a very, very um, quick workflow with. I use the iPad Pro with Procreate. I don't know what I'm doing right there. Am I having a hard time? What am I doing? Anyways, so I've been having a hard time getting used to this thing because it's not touchscreen, but it does have an awesome display, which is what I exactly wanted. I believe it's like 2560 by 1440, which is awesome. I didn't want, you know, 1080 on a 24 inch display. 120% um, sRGB, which is not bad, not bad. I, I think it's better than the monitor I have for gaming, so it's I, I appreciate that. So basically, I don't know if my workflow is super slow because it's not touchscreen or if I'm just not used to it. And on top of that, I used Photoshop and I am not used to using Photoshop at all. So I'm still trying to learn how to use Photoshop and Photoshop and I don't know like what shortcuts I want to do on these buttons. There is, I believe, 20 buttons. So that's really cool. You're going to have a bunch of shortcut buttons. And right here, I noticed my cat was sleeping at a very weird angle, so I decided to show her. Just keep watching when she wakes up. She is just the cutest thing ever. She's, loop sides forward. Here's me ripping off the plastic. And here you can see me testing out the tablet on Photoshop. I'm making quick strokes, like cross-hatching cross -hatching strokes 
long sideways strokes to see if there's any jitter and then I'm testing the pen pressure and everything seemed to work perfectly fine right out of the box. I didn't edit the pressure in the in the driver settings like the setup thing. I didn't edit any of that. And you can see I'm making some more quick marks, checking for any checks on the end of the line, see if it's still catching, and you can see they're pretty straight. Trying to see how well it tapers. There I go a little bit quicker. This is me trying to undo everything with the button and I ended up just getting the eraser out and erasing it all. By the way, I know this isn't super comprehensive. It's kind of late at night because I'm too embarrassed to do this around my family. So if you have any you know, questions, just comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. And I love the pen. It's very nice to hold. It's a little bit light, but I guess I'm used to the um, the Apple Pencil, which is also kind of light, but it's more skinnier and shaped like a pencil. It's hard. It's weird holding a thicker pen, but it's also super light. I'm gonna go ahead and go right into just like a quick photo study. This was kind of the first thing I drew without any warm-up, so <laughs> it started off pretty ugly, but it ended up uh, being okay for something my first time drawing. And I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of Photoshop. I know this isn't about Photoshop itself, but it really kind of hindered my experience with the Huion. Just the whole thing seemed way over complicated for me, especially with the interface and the big screen. And I would make sure that you have enough workspace to fit this huge tablet on. Right now it takes up like all the space on my desk so I can't have the keyboard out in front of me. It has to be off to the side and that's a little bit... It's hard to maneuver and keep my hands and use shortcuts while drawing at the same time because it's kind of far away and everything's just super duper cramped. So if you're going to go for something this big, just make sure you have the space for it because my workspace is kind of a mood killer because I don't want to sit here and struggle with shortcuts and having that hinder my workflow because I'm used to having a very, very speedy workflow with the iPad Pro. I can usually draw something that's like halfway decent in like three hours. And on the Huion, I can imagine taking it much longer just because I'm getting used to it. So there is going to be a learning curve probably with any kind of tablet you get if this is going to be your first tablet. If you're used to tablets like, like maybe if you have a graphics tablet, one without the display, or you have a smaller one and want to upgrade to something bigger, this is the perfect tablet for you. It's a nice size. It's QHD display. It's got, you know, all the necessities, you know, Lots of pressure sensitivity, 120% sRGB. It's got all of the all the goods. Especially if you can't afford something like a Wacom, this is like second best. Especially considering the price. I believe now it's like I said before, it's $900 now, and once it's in stock in America, you won't have to pay that uh, customs tax, and that way it can be a little bit cheaper for you. In comparison to the XP Pen Artist Display 24 Pro, there is barely any noticeable difference. It's around 90% Adobe RGB, which is pretty much equivalent to 120% sRGB. So just because it's Adobe RGB, don't be fooled. It's around it's around the same. It has the same pen pressure. They both have QHD displays. Um, the stands both look pretty good. The stand also on the XP Pen has about 20 to 80 degrees. I think the Huion looks a little bit sleeker, but it all depends on whether you want the scroll bar or the turn dial, the wheel. So whichever you prefer on that. And if I was a little bit smarter financially, I would go with whatever one's on sale. But if they're roughly the same price, I would probably go with the Huion just because of the laminated display and the etched glass, which is a huge thing for me. And somebody else in another review of the Artist XP Pen said that when they rub their pen on the screen, it creates air bubbles underneath the film. And I didn't 
I feel like that would have bothered me a lot. So yeah, if they're the same price, I would probably go with the Huion. But if either one's on sale, you go for one whichever meets your financial needs. Which is what I probably should have done, but I spoil myself. So the Huion Canvas Pro is a QHD screen with 2560 by 1440 pixels. It is fully laminated, which is awesome, and ultimately why I went with the Huion over the Artist XP Pen. The contrast ratio is 1000 to 1. 120% sRGB, which is not bad, not bad. Of course, 8,192 levels of pressure and 60 degrees of tilt support. The stand also goes from 20 degrees to 80 degrees and the video interface goes from HDMI, DP, v and surprisingly VGA. I really like the touch bars, but I don't think I would make them zoom in and out, I would definitely change that to something else. In regards to Huion's customer service, I had originally gone to cancel this product when I saw that the XP Pen had come out with their own product at a significantly cheaper price, especially since it was on sale. So I had emailed them asking if I could cancel the order, so they opened up a ticket. And basically, after a couple days, I commented on my ticket asking just asking a question like if it would be on sale like when's it going to be in stock in America so I don't have to pay, pay the custom tax whatever and so they responded to me they were confused on what I wanted to do on if I wanted to keep my product but wait till it was sh shipped to America and then brought to me but it didn't make any sense to me because I had already paid the customs tax I'd already paid so much more money and I don't I didn't want to wait any longer for my product for them to like get a shipment over to America. It was really confusing. So they were confused. And I told them that I still wanted to cancel my order and something else. I don't have it up right now. And long story short, they just took forever to respond to every single comment I made. And they were constantly confused about what I wanted when my original request was to cancel the order completely and get a full refund. But after you know, some research into the XP Pen, I decided that the Huion was the product that I ultimately wanted and I was paying, or I was willing to pay a little bit more to get it here faster. Ultimately, that probably wasn't the best choice, but, you know, I was going to get the Huion anyways and I didn't want to wait, so that's just the decision I ended up making. All right, guys, it's the next day after I recorded all that audio. So I've had my coffee. I'm a little bit more energetic. I just wanted to let you guys know this is my first YouTube video. And I just want any suggestions that you have or if you liked it. Uh, if you did like it, please uh, like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, feel free to dislike it. Uh, leave a comment down below, anything like that. I'm trying to build a brand for myself. And so I'm open to any suggestions and stuff like that. And I would just really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I will release another video in the next few days, maybe sometime next week. So make sure you tune in and watch out for that. Thank you.